Hello all, welcome you all to the video lecture on interrupt structure of 8051 microcontroller. So in this session, we will uh, we'll discuss about the interrupts, the definition of the interrupts, the types of the interrupts and also how to handle the interrupts and list of interrupts conclusion. So first let us know what is a interrupt. So the meaning of interrupt is to break the sequence of operation. It is to break the sequence of operation. So, for example, while the controller is executing a program, an interrupt breaks the normal sequence of execution. It is in the main program and whenever there is an interrupt, it breaks the normal sequence of execution of instructions, diverts its execution to some other program called ISR. So, the program control branches to ISR. And after executing the ISR, the control returns back to the main program. So repeating again, the meaning of interrupt is to break the sequence of operation. And while the controller is executing the main program, an interrupt breaks the normal sequence of execution of instructions, diverts its execution to some other program called interrupt service routine and after the execution of the interrupt service routine again control comes back to the main program. So going with the types of interrupts. So interrupts are of different types like the first one software and hardware interrupt. So as the name indicates the software and the hardware when the interrupt is raised with an instruction writing a code writing a instruction or writing a code if the interrupt is raised then it is an software interrupt and hardware due to some external signal so whenever some input output devices needs the attention of the processor then some external signal will be raised and because of this the interrupt will be generated and this is known as hardware interrupt. And coming to the maskable and non-maskable interrupt. So maskable means which can be ignored. If the processor is doing something very important then it may not attend to the input output device it may ignore the interrupt then we say it as a maskable interrupt and non-maskable interrupt means like the controller cannot ignore it has to attend to the service of the input output device so interrupts are classified as hardware interrupts and software interrupts hardware always remember with some external signal some external event will send the signal and this is going to generate the interrupt and whereas software interrupt it is because of execution of certain instruction or sometimes due to some exceptions exceptions are nothing but error conditions then let us understand the need for the interrupts so usually in most of the real time processors or we can also say it as in most of the real time applications To handle certain conditions properly, the actual task must be halt for some times. Usually, for example, 
like you are running a washing machine and after some 20 minutes you want it to be switched off or whatever so then what happens is that many times in real time applications the actual task must be halt for some times to take the required action and then must return to the main task so for executing such type of programs interrupts are necessary so usually we have two types of uh, techniques like one is the polling technique or polling method and the other one we say it as a interrupt driven so in polling in polling the controller is going to continuously check whether any input output device is requiring its attention whereas in interrupt driven method the io device is going to send a signal to the processor or the controller in polling technique the processor or controller will continuously check whether there is any requirement from the input output device so the processor can be interrupted in following ways so how to given interrupt signal to the processor or the controller so by an external signal generated by a peripheral so whenever any peripheral device or we also say it as input output device needs the attention of the processor or has some uh, service to be done by the processor it generates an external signal and this we also say it as hardware interrupt and the second is by an internal signal generated by a special instruction in the program so using an instruction when we generate a interrupt we say it as an software interrupt and the third point by an internal signal generated due to exceptional condition which occurs while executing an instruction i already told you exceptional conditions are nothing but error conditions like divide by zero overflow so during some error conditions also the internal signals are generated to give an interrupt so finally the list of the interrupts so 8051 has five interrupts they are int0 bar int1 bar these are your external interrupts these two are external interrupts t0 timer 0 interrupt timer 1 interrupt and ta or ri they are nothing but corresponding to the serial port ta stands for transmit interrupt and ra stands for receive interrupt so in this session we have discussed what are interrupts the definition of the interrupts types of interrupts and then the need of interrupts and the list of the 8051 interrupts with their reset vector addresses thank you